everybody. Adam Savage at Prop Store. Hello, Stephen Lane. Hey, Adam. How you doing, man? I Well, every time I'm around you, I get to see phenomenal objects I never thought I'd see. So I'm doing pretty good. Excellent. I'm pleased to hear that. Hopefully you're excited about these we've got out for you as well. We have two different phenomenal Batman Batarangs, practical props. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so the, the front one here, of course, is from uh, the Chris Nolan trilogy. This is from Batman Begins. So this is a, a lightweight foam rubber version. So it does actually pivot. Yeah, you oh, can, wow, it's, it's it hinged as well. That. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And if you flip it over and just, just pivot it, yeah, yeah, just open it back up again. Sorry, turn it around the other way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. So if you then bend it open for us, yeah. you can actually see just inside here, there are two little magnets embedded oh. in there as well to help it just snap closed. I think it's more as a conceptual thing that that was the idea that it would clink together. But actually, you know, in practical terms, it's not going to do a great deal with hinges like that as well. Indeed. But nice lightweight and, and used for action shots and things like that. And as far as a piece of copper, it holds up looking like a piece of copper it, from right here. Yeah, it really presents well, doesn't it? I think that uh, un unless you're actually picking it up and handling it, it's really tough to tell that it's a foam rubber version. It is, um, it is a lovely thing about the Bra Batman franchise, and you've handled pieces of every ounce of the Batman franchise, is for each execution, you could look at a piece of it and go, oh, Nolan. Oh, that's uh, Tim Burton. That's Joel Schumer. Like each, each, each person, even though it's the same elements. Yeah. Every director, every actor, every production puts their own stamp on. Yeah, it. Yeah, it's definitely. Every, it's always so stylized, isn't it, to that particular director, and then it follows the, three, the theme right the way through. So this, you can tell, that's a Nolan piece immediately. But they also don't look like they're from totally different universes. Yeah. Right? Like there's still some parity across. Yeah, definitely. Them. There's a there's a relative connection there, without any question at all. Well, and with. Within practical Batman props, I am so excited about the Matt Reeves Batman. I loved it. I've watched Dude. it twice. I love the costume. It's maybe my favorite bat suit yet. Yeah, it's wicked, isn't it? And this is the chest emblem, right? Yeah, so that's right. Yeah, in the uh, in the Matt Reeves version, mm. of course, the the Batarang serves not only as the emblem on his chest, but also the weapon of choice as well. So for the version, interesting enough, this is this is a hand prop version that would have been used for, let's say, action sequences, or he's obviously going to be holding in his hand already. Right, right. Because interesting enough, if you look at it now, there's no curvature on it. You couldn't have that across your chest, oh, could no, you? Oh no, of course not. Right. Yeah. So it has to be fixed play. The, the, the version that has the curvature also has a slight hinge here. So you can see there's an indication of where a hinge would be. Yeah. And that, so that snaps slightly as it comes around. But this is a fixed version. So it's very specifically made for a shot where it's only going to be in fixed form. But uh, great work on it. It is really great work. And the, the, the weathering on it, I mean, sometimes you handle, sometimes I see props that you are, that you are uh, auctioning. And I can't tell where the weathering ends and the age of the prop begins. Yeah. But this is a fairly recent movie and the weathering is just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, the paintwork on it is just phenomenal. And this is made of what? Like a sort of a resin material, something like that, a resin fiberglass or something yeah, like that? Yeah, with or... I think some aluminum in structure there. Right. It's got some yeah, weight, got some to, weight it, to it, but it also, it's. A lovely piece. Yeah, the paintwork and, and detailing on it just finishes it off, doesn't it? I mean, that, that is one thing when you look at this as a hand prop by comparison to sort of the basic nature of this. They both work perfectly in yeah. their own worlds, don't they? But two completely different approaches to the same same prop. Do you feel like each time you have an auction and Batman pieces come up, are you like, hello, old friends? <laughs> Sometimes. I, we've never had one of these before. Oh, this so, is the first one. So this is obviously very, very recent. This particular piece actually was sold originally at a charity auction. So it was donated by Warner Brothers to a charity auction event. And so it comes with the Warner Brothers Certificate of Authenticity as well, which sort of adds a little bit of kudos to it at the that's same a, time. That's obviously, rare. Everything Getting that a we, studio COA is rare. Correct. Yeah, everything that we sell comes with a prop store COA mm -hmm. as well, which I think is now recognized as the gold standard within the industry. But to have a studio COA, up on top of that as well, really takes it to uh, to another level. Yeah, that, there's no question. There's no question of its provenance. Um, let's take a look at the backside of this also. They've got some in-molded screws and nuts and bolts, but they all actually, I believe, are just scenic. Yes, I don't think there's any, any practical elements to that at all. I think it is just a, a cast one piece that's then distressed and finished. 
I'm slowly working on a Matt Reeves Batman, and somehow I didn't know that there was these orange bits on this thing. I, apparently, I'm not looking carefully enough. <laughs> well, now you've got to go back and look at the film and just see where they appear, because maybe they only appear when it pops out of the suit, or maybe it's at a different point, you know, if it's not flexed. Maybe it comes together and snaps open. I don't know. I, I'm not too familiar. I'm not, I'm not familiar enough either. But. No, but I love getting a narrative of all the ways in which you have also like learned you weren't looking at a, at a screenshot carefully sure. enough to learn about the provenance of a piece. Uh, this auction is happening right now, am I right? Yeah, it's live online right now. Bidding's already taking place. We've got 1,500 lots. The, the, uh, the live auction actually takes place on November the 3rd to November the 6th. That's taking place at BAFTA 195 Piccadilly in London, so you can either bid online, but we'll be streaming all day, every day as well. It'd be like a 10, 11 hour stream per day live, so you can just grab a beer, sit down, chill out, watch the bidding action, and hopefully take part. And uh, take home your own batarang. Exactly. Stephen, thank you so much for letting me play with, play with some of your toys. It's a pleasure, man.